Okay, here we are. On the right, we have the circuit being driven by the 4060 CMOS chip. I will get into some details on that one in a second, but you can notice I've got a red and blue LED blinking back and forth. On the left, we have my prototype circuit for the position flasher, the strobe, if you will, for the Enterprise NX01. Right here, we have a pot, and if I turn the pot, you can see the blink time's changing, the strobe time. By varying this resistance, I can put a longer space between flashes. By varying it the other way, I can make a shorter space between flashes until it's almost blinking. Okay. Now, I've already gone and soldered up my circuit for the Enterprise, and here you can see it right here. There are some alligator clips holding the LED on because I didn't want to solder the LED on just yet. I'm not 100% certain where I'm going to place this circuit board or the LED as of now. I am going to run fiber optics. I've already done a test with that and the fiber optics are more than bright enough for what I'm looking for. One other thing, when working with the 555 timing chip, it does not regulate voltage. Voltage in is voltage out. So you have to put a resistor on your LED or you're going to fry your LED. Whereas on the 4060 over here, it doesn't matter. It regulates the voltage. All of this is running on a 9 volt circuit right now. Okay? And you will notice by looking at this, there are no resistors on these LEDs. The 4060 is an easier chip to work with when building models. Now I'm going to cut the lights and see how the video camera picks this stuff up. It seems to pick it up all right. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to vary different pinouts on the 4060. If I unplug it there and move it, you notice the blink rates change. And if I put it on the other side of the chip, the blink rates change a lot. Now, I've got a potential meter here so I can vary the blink rates on this because you use a resistor to control blink rates. Not only that, if I were to change this resistor out to a proper uh, range, we could find that I can get the 4060 to have three blinks on the blue, then three blinks on the red. Can't do that with the 555. The 555, as far as I can tell, seems to be just a flash. But this chip over here, we can do a lot of variations in the blink rates with it. Kind of funny how that works. Yeah, there's a short in here somewhere. Uh, there we go. But anyhow, that's where I'm at with the circuits right now. I have one circuit left to do. That's to get the navigation lights, the blinking red and green lights done. I'm going to get that circuit done probably tonight by the end of next week for sure. It's I'm going to use the 555 on that. Have a good one. Okay. Coming back to the 4060, I fixed all the shorts in it and it's working beautifully now. This does change the speed and the blink rate like I wanted. If I take this cable here, plug it in there, notice I'm getting just a lot of blinking on the red. If I move it over here, the blue is blinking, not the red. If I move it here, blue is blinking, not the red. Back here, they're blinking back and forth again. Now, I'm going to move the white cable over one. Now it looks more like a heartbeat. Now move this one over. Let's pick up the speed of this a little bit. It is not doing what it did before. This is fun. Now if I move it to the other side, you see we got the heartbeat again. But now look. So you can see this thing does some different behaviors depending on where your pinouts are. I could see this being very useful for models. Um, if you're doing like a cockpit in the Jupiter 2 for instance, or the C57D, 
you could get all sorts of different blinking colors going at all different places with some fiber optics using this chip. I think this is more versatile for models, but you're limited on exactly what it can do with the blink rates. That's my problem with this. I can't, you can't get it to pulse on and off. You can't get it to strobe where you have a blink and then a long space and then a blink. But you also get behaviors out of this one that you don't get with the 555, its cousin on the left. So, just in summary, they both have different uses. Like if I were to ever build a new Viper model, I'm going to use this chip here to give all sorts of blinking effects in the cockpit. Alright, thank you. Have a good day.